As the volume of litigation increases, the ability to manage these cases grows increasingly complex. Further, legal costs will only continue to rise. Yet, litigation financing remains the most viable solution. However, some misconceptions linger on about the industry. The most common misconception of litigation finance is the perceived loss of control. Some people are concerned that, if you accept funding from a litigation financer, that they will lose control over their management of their claim. This concern is misplaced. Letting the client to maintain control of their case is one thing that is of the utmost concern to a litigation financer. Generally, it is expressly stated in the agreement that the financer will be hands-off. The next misconception is the purported impact on the volume of litigation. Some lawyers believe that litigation finance will promote frivolous or meritless claims. Contrary to this suggestion, litigation financers do their due diligence before agreeing to finance a case and do not finance every claim. On the contrary, often where financers deposit their capital and have done the due diligence, it almost validates the case in favor of the party being financed. While litigation finance is not appropriate in every case, there is a misconception that financers have an extraordinarily high threshold that must be met. While there is a certain value threshold below which would not make sense for a litigation financer to pursue, that level is not as high as most individuals would believe. In fact, most clients, even for modest cases have access to funding. Lastly, in addition to confusion about minimum baselines for consideration, a common misconception concerns the price of funding. Generally, claimants feel like they have good cases that will definitely win, so financing looks expensive. However, a discussion with a financer will show that there are more ways to finance a case. From this discussion, one will realize that litigation financing is not nearly as expensive as one may think.